Hi, I'm Lisa Ballou, and I'm here to celebrate Expansion Yoga's 10-year anniversary. Matt Lutz has uh, graciously agreed to join me, and Matthew is a senior at Olympic High School. He has been uh, participating in track, cross country, and swimming all throughout his high school career, and he is the 16th fastest cross country runner in the state of Washington. So for several years, he's been making state um, for both track and cross country, and then throwing some swimming in the winter just because. Um, his uh, fastest times for a 5K or a 3.1 mile is 16.07, and his fastest mile time is a 4.26. So thanks, Matt, for helping us celebrate our 10-year anniversary. He's going to do Downward Dog, Ardha Rupa Savasana for us, and this is a great stretch for swimmers and runners because it stretches the back, it strengthens the arms, and it stretches the backs of the legs. So you can start just by coming in a hands and knees position called tabletop. And then you want to start your alignment here. So one of the first important things is to make sure that the arms are shoulder width apart, which, which they are. So Matthew's wrists are underneath the shoulders, which is great. Then he wants to get his fingers nice and wide. And now he's going to tuck his toes under and just push down so his knees come up and his legs are straight. And technically, he's in down dog. And now all we want to do is just get him deeper into the pose. So we're going to do that by trying to create a triangular structure with his body. So he's got one line from hand to hip, a second line from hip to heel, a third line from foot to hand. He's doing a great job of having his ears within his arms. And now what we want to try to do is use the upward tilt of his hips to kind of neutralize or straighten out his spine. So if he'll just tilt his hips up, yes, you can see how his hips get higher and his back gets a little straighter. And Matthew, does that feel like more of a stretch for your legs? Definitely. Okay, so this is a beautiful example of downward facing dog, Ardha Savasana. To come out of the pose, simply lower your knees to the mat, and then just Kind of un untuck your toes, walk your feet, hands back, and go ahead and stand back up. So thank you, Matthew, for helping us celebrate our 10-year anniversary. We really appreciate having a youth participant in our video series. Thanks again, and great luck at Western Washington University, where he'll be heading this fall with a scholarship to run cross-country and track. So thank you very much. Great to see you. Good luck in your meet today. Uh -huh.